our nervous system. There are different systems in our body. They perform different functions. All these systems are controlled by a system called the nervous system. In all the body systems, the nervous system is the most complex and delicate system. Our nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. Brain is the center of the nervous system. Brain sends and receives messages through the network of nerves. This network of nerves allows the brain to communicate with every part of the body. The nerves carry messages from all body parts to the brain. On receiving the messages, the brain sends instructions to the body parts through the spinal cord and nerves. All the activities of our body are controlled by the nervous system and that is why the body works as a single unit. Nerves Nerves are made of nerve cells that have long thread-like fibers. These fibers are bundled together. Each nerve may have thousands of fibers. It runs throughout the human body, connecting every body part together like a telephone network. The nerves in the central part of our body and the brain form the central nervous system, whereas the nerves in our arms and legs form the peripheral nervous system. Nerves act as a communication system, carrying information from one part of the body to another. The central nervous system is made up of the spinal cord and the brain. Our brain Our brain is the most delicate organ in our body. Every activity that we do is controlled by the brain. So, it is called the controller of our body systems. The brain weighs nearly 1.4 kilograms. The skull which is made up of bones protects the brain. The spaces between the skull and brain as well as inside of the brain are filled with a liquid that acts as a shock absorber and protects it from jerks and injuries. The main part of the brain are the cerebrum, cerebellum and the medulla. Cerebrum The cerebrum is the control center of the brain. It is the largest and most prominent part of the brain. It is nearly 85% of the weight of human brain. It is responsible for all voluntary activities of our brain. It is the thinking part of the brain which is the measure of intelligence, learning and judgment too. The cerebrum is divided into two hemispheres. The left and right cerebral hemispheres. The surface of the cerebrum consists of deep grooves and wrinkles. These deep grooves separate the two hemispheres. Animals have smaller cerebrum than human cerebrum. So, humans are more intelligent than animals. Cerebellum The cerebellum is the second largest part of the brain and is located at the back of the brain. It coordinates and controls our muscular movements. It keeps our body balanced and straight. If it does not function properly, our body parts' movements will be jerky like a puppet. Medulla The medulla lies behind the cerebellum. It is a small part of the brain situated at the top of the spinal cord. It is also known as the brain stem. It connects the brain to the spinal cord. Actions like respiration, circulation, heartbeat are controlled by the medulla. These actions are called involuntary actions. Medulla is always active. It functions actively even when we sleep. Spinal cord Our body has a thick bundle of nerves that comes down from the medulla and passes through the backbone. This thick bundle of nerves is called spinal cord, which is protected by the vertebral column. It connects the brain to all parts of our body by a network of nerves. It controls our reflex actions. Reflex actions Some of our actions are automatic and are controlled by the spinal cord. 
if we touch a very hot object unknowingly we immediately remove our hand without making any effort in such a case no message reaches to the brain the spinal cord itself reacts quickly to these actions such actions are automatic and are known as reflex actions blinking of eyes and sneeze reflex are also reflex actions the peripheral nervous system consists of the cells that carry messages throughout the nervous system these cells are called neurons they are the basic functional unit of the nervous system there are three kinds of nerves in our nervous system to perform different functions sensory nerves are the nerves connected to the sense organs they carry messages from the sense organs to the spinal cord and the brain on getting the messages the brain informs us what our sense organs have seen heard smelled tasted or felt motor nerves carry messages from the brain and spinal cord to the muscles and glands these nerves signal the muscles to perform actions mixed nerves carry messages to the brain and instructions from the brain to the body parts they are found in our brain and spinal cord we can conclude that our nervous system is very complicated system but it works in a very organized way our sense organs we know that eyes ears nose tongue and skin are our sense organs through which we know about the world around us our eyes our eyes are very important to us as they provide us the sense of light and sight our eyes are protected by the eyelids and the eyelashes the eyelids protect our eyes from dust our eyes is like a round ball which is fitted safely in a bony socket in the skull we differentiate colors distances shapes and sizes of different things with the help of our eyes an eye has a circular and transparent area in its front called the cornea the cornea is the part of the eye through which light enters into the eye the black colored round shaped part in the eye is called the iris the iris controls the amount of light entering the eye in the middle of the iris is a small opening called the pupil through which light enters the eye the eye has a lens behind the pupil which forms the image of an object on the retina the retina is a light sensitive tissue lining the back of our eye the brain receives messages from retina through the optic nerve which connects the eye to the brain how to take care of our eyes always work in proper lighting wash your eyes with clean water to keep them fresh always watch television 6 to 9 feet away from yours do not lie down while reading sit upright and keep the book at a proper distance from the eyes don't stare the fire and bright objects continuously never touch your eyes with dirty hands always use clean handkerchiefs or towels our ears we have two ears one on each side of the head to keep balance in our body the ears enable us to detect different sound waves the outer part of the ear is called external ear it is a funnel shaped organ which helps us to receive and direct the sound waves to the inner ear through the eardrum in the middle ear when sound strikes the eardrum it vibrates the vibrations pass into the inner ear to send the signals to the brain how to take care of our ears do not use any sharp or pointed thing like pins etc into the ear for cleaning always keep your ears dry use soft and clean towel to swipe them use earplugs if there is loud noise around you do not listen to loud music and get regular ear checkups our nose our nose is the main entrance to the respiratory system and also used to smell it has many nerves endings in its upper part which are very sensitive to smell they send the messages to the brain 
Our nose can smell thousands of different scents. The sense of smell and sense of taste are interrelated with each other. So, the food smells good, tastes good. How to take care of our nose? Keep your nose clean by blowing it gently. Do not pick your nose with your fingers or nails. If you have a cold, inhale steam to clean the nose. Our tongue. The tongue is a muscular organ in the mouth. The surface of the tongue is covered with tiny bumps. Some special cells called the taste buds are also there inside these bumps. These taste buds are collection of sensitive cells which detects four tastes, sweet, salty, sour and bitter. They are spread in different places on our tongue and connect the nerves to the brain. Our skin Human skin is the largest organ of the body. It covers and protects our whole body. It does not allow dirt, germs, etc. to enter into our body. Our internal organs get protection from the skin. We feel the sensation of touch, pain, pressure, cold, heat, etc. through the nerve endings present in the skin. Each part of our skin is sensitive to touch. Some parts of the skin, like fingertips, contain more nerve endings than other parts and that is why they are more sensitive. The sweat comes out from our body through the pores of the skin. How to take care of our skin? Use a good quality soap and water to clean your body. Wear comfortable and suitable clothes in all seasons. Drink plenty of water daily. Don't expose your body too much to the sunlight.